what's good y'all welcome to my review for the commuter so the commuter is directed by jay i'm probably going to call sarah i probably completely butchered that name and the cast includes liam neeson of course v vera fur fargan i'm patrick willis sam neil elizabeth mcgovern jo jonathan banks and many more so the plot of the commuter is that, that an insurance salesman, um, ex-cop, Michael, is on his daily commute home to work. And Eliza, he meets a, he meets a strange woman, tell him to do this, like, you know, ask him a hypothetical question. Hey, if you would do this one thing for, like, a hundred grand, would you do it? And so he has so it ends up turning that she's not bullshit. She, he actually has to, you know, find this person that's out of place on this train and, yeah, take care of him. <laughs> and so, like I said, I listed off the cast. And, like, now this movie is pretty much, you could say, non-stop on a train. Because, you know, this is also, this is like the fourth movie in a collaboration with, like, the director and Liam Neeson. Uh, and with a fifth one already in production, I've heard. So I'm looking forward to that one, because I really like these movies. Um, I really love uh, uh, non-stop. It's not, like, one of the best action thrillers out there, but it's a damn old joy. I'd probably give that movie, like, an eight or a nine. I really did love that movie. I didn't see Run All Night. I uh, just... God, I didn't never, never really got a chance to see that movie. I don't know the other three were, but um, this movie I fucking loved. Like, um, this is, this movie was definitely very suspenseful. Like, you know, and the action sequences are very well done. There's a few good. There's some few really good examples. Liam Neeson, of course, gives another amazing performance, like he always does. It's uh, noble, you know, noble guy trying to help him. But one thing I love about this movie is that, the, which is something that wasn't mentioned in the trailer, so I guess like spoiler warning, guess, but it's not really that major. Um, is that he is he actually just lost his job when he, you know, when he meets the um, um, uh, who what, what was her name? Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh. Uh, Verva for for I, I swear I'm terrible at, I'm terrible at names. Uh, when she met her character, he just lost his job. So when she you know gives him so when the money's introduced, he's like, yeah, I'll take it because you know he's down on his luck. I mean his son's going to college. He just lost his job. So that hundred K sounds pretty nice. Um, but yeah, like, that I really liked about his character, that he's not just that he has, you know, more of a motive. That he's not completely like you know a noble guy. He definitely is kind of selfish, with you know, of course, taking the money. Um, so like I said, um, Liam Neeson did an excellent performance, nothing Oscar worthy, but he definitely did a fantastic job. The rest of the cast is pretty good as well. My only real, uh, flaw I had with this movie is that this movie can get implausible at times. Like, there are scenes where, like, you know, Liam Neeson does something and then, you know, um, she calls him on a phone and he's like, no, tell her, you know, you did something wrong, you know, turn around, look at the west, like, southeast entrance, southeast window, where we, like, you know, push a guy out on the street and gets run over. Like, it gets implausible, like, how she can, you know, time all this stuff properly with, like, that does get seem implausible. Besides that, everything else about the movie was really good. Nothing, like, you know, mind-blowing or game-changing, but if you're looking for a good action thriller with Liam Neeson in it in the middle in January you can't do no you can't do wrong with this movie it's it's really fucking good like I said the action sequences are really great now, there's not much shaky cam in there like there was a non-stop so if you didn't really like that this movie got you covered on that front uh yes but I can like I said Liam Neeson gets another excellent performance the rest of the cast was also pretty good and, yeah, I really have nothing else to say. There's not that much to say about this movie other than if you like action thrillers with Liam Neeson in them, if you love nonstop, or you really enjoy nonstop, I highly recommend you guys check out The Commuter. So my final verdict for The Commuter is a 9 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter. I feel like it's in the description box below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.